This afternoon I spoke with Governor Malloy and FBI Director Mueller. I offered Governor Malloy my condolences. This is about the shooting thing, huh? The majority of those who died today were children. Why you gotta go for the kids, though? Beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. You can tell he's holding back tears. Oh, he looks like he has tears in his eyes. Tear. Tear. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, kids of their own. Among the fallen were also teachers, so our hearts are broken today. That's so sad. As a country, we have been through this too many times. And we're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. This evening, Michelle and I will do what I know every parent in America will do, which is hug our children a little tighter. My mom so snuggled me we'll so much. Them, but there are My parents didn't do that to me. That They're like, okay, see you later. May God bless the memory of the victims. Heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. Oh, that's horrible. I feel like I have to go tell my mom I love her now. So, what do you know about the tragedy that took place in Connecticut? Oh, it was a crazy dude. Went and gun gunned down his mom. I don't know why he didn't just stop there. A man came into the school and he went into like a kindergarten room. Went to the school and shot those kids. He like shot, I think it was like 18 kids or 20 kids and like eight adults and he shot himself too. It's so sad like hearing about stuff like this, especially when it's kids. And how did you react when you first heard about this? Another shooting, come on America. Home alone, on the couch, just like bawling. I like cried for half an hour. I was in shock, honestly. My government teacher was like telling us this guy like killed like a whole classroom and I was like, what? like. No, like, there's no way. Yeah, I don't know. It was just like, okay, another shooting. But then again, if it was someone close to me, then I'd feel really bad about it, and I'd, I'd you know, be sad and stuff. It's a little selfish of me. I never want that to happen to my little sisters. I don't want my little sis sisters to be afraid to go to school. I didn't tell them anything about it. I don't want them to worry about that type of stuff. And no kid should. So the same day that this happened, there were reporters that were seeking out some of the young children that were witnesses and interviewing them for the news. Is that an okay thing to do? Uh, no, they were just traumatized. What's wrong with the media? I don't think that's right, but that's what America wants. The last thing these parents want to want to see is cameras in their faces or something like that. Or, you know, you posting up pictures of, of moms crying on, on, on Twitter or something like that to get retweets. If there's like, it's a week later and a little kid is like, all right with, you know, talking about it, then that's fine. But if it's like he's right there and you're trying to like shove cameras in his face when he's already like freaking out and traumatized, that's that's just you don't care about the children. It's just what you want and what you think is best for your career. The media has a tendency to show the picture of the shooters and talk about who they are and say their name all the time. Is that an okay thing when this happens to be letting people give this person all this attention for so long? I, th I don't think that the person that did it deserves any mercy. So like, I think that everyone should know that it was him. I at least wanted to like know who did it. They could just leave the person anonymous. I don't want to know anything about him very much because he's this dude who just shot 20 kids. I hate that guy. Why should we be giving him like fame? We should be you know, mourning over the people that we've lost, the children that we've lost. No one remembers them. I don't know any of the names of the people. Wow. Oh my gosh, I never even thought of it like that. I feel like a lot of these shooters want attention. The news and the media is just giving that attention to them. This man today shot how many people and this is the most shooting or most killed there's ever been in an elementary school, let's say. And then another person is gonna be like, a psychotic person is gonna be like, oh, I wanna up him and be like, well, I can shoot more people than you. It's like a game for them. In this situation, we should be probably seeing their picture and name just because he's mentally unstable and he had a terrible life that led up to you know, him having to kill himself after killing all of these people. He's a victim of society just as much as the kids are a victim of him. What did the president mean in his speech when he said that action needed to be taken regardless of the politics? Gun laws, probably. Everyone needs to, like, set aside their differences, like the different parties, and really work together and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Democratic people generally are for gun control. Republicans are generally against it. It goes back to, like, our constitution, like you have the right to bear arms. And yes, while we have the right to bear arms, it's again, there should be limitations inside of that. No, we gotta keep the old fashioned way. We gotta have 
all of our amendments, all of it, everything. We have to be able to hold guns and stuff. We can't stop the past because it's the past, but I'd be a slave right now. <laughs> My people didn't have rights, but yet we changed that. So the United States is actually the country that has the most mass shootings worldwide. Jeez. Why do you think that is? We got some crazy motherfuckers in this country. Well, America's number one in just about everything. So, you know what I mean? So it makes sense. It makes sense to be number one in that. Maybe it's just because we have easier access to like guns and stuff. We allow it to happen and we don't do anything about it. People, of course, blame the unsafety of guns and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of people forget the person behind it. Would you say that guns are the only issue? I think it's because these kids are being bullied. The other factor is they're mental state. Just the way your race has a, a lot of effect on on how you turn out as a person. A lot of people have become like desensitized to like blood and horror and stuff and they watch all these violent movies and violent video games and stuff. I don't think there's any logical expl explanation for this. These people have something wrong with them and they can't control it and they can't get the help that they need and this is apparently their outlet and it's awful and it, it just I don't know. It's just so sad. Has your school done anything in terms of talking about things like school shootings? Oh, no. Not Nothing? my school. No. Earthquakes, that's all we're worried about. Not really. Just like, don't bring weapons to school is basically all they say or else you'll get expelled or whatever. Yeah, drills, like lockdown drills. We have lockdown drills. We just like turn off the lights and everyone like goes under the desk and like moves away from the windows. No one says that it's like specifically for if someone brought a gun. Do you think that it should be talked about more? No, because that's just gonna mess the little kids' minds up. Once you get to middle school, maybe. And I don't even know about high school because it could even give kids ideas. What do you think could be done in terms of security in the schools? Dude, they need to beefing up on their security. There's nothing really to do. Like, you're going to make a bunch of kids walk through a metal detector every single day when they come to school. If you proposed a bill saying, I want metal detectors in each school, they're going to shut it down immediately because of budget issues. And that's also another reason nothing is done, is because we don't distribute our budget right in America. When I went to public school, you could just walk in. Anyone could walk in. It's super easy to get into schools. It's super easy to get out of schools too when you're not supposed to. <laughs> they could issue like security implements in schools and stuff, but that's not really gonna make a big difference. The gun rights group, the NRA, made a statement saying that the government should provide funding for armed security at every school. Is that a good idea? That's even, that's a dumber idea. That's gonna be scary as hell if a teacher had a gun. You get caught cheating or something like that and she pulled out a pistol. Our security guards, if a guy was to come in to our school with a gun, they don't have anything like to shoot him down with. Like I think they should have guns. Maybe having something instead of like a gun, like a taser or something so that that at least if they tailor someone else by mistake, they're not killing them. The only thing with like everyone having guns, it's like, what does that say about like society that like we're can't we're not safe enough to like go around? Like you have to have that with you all the time. Go like, oh, bye, honey. You have your gun today. Okay, good. Like, what the heck? If we live our entire life afraid to the point where every official and like every single person needs a gun, then we're just we're not really living. We're just hiding. Do you think everyone should have the right to purchase a gun if they can clear whatever the law is in their state? I don't know. It is your Second Amendment right, right? I don't know. I feel like there's so many different factors and so many different ways it could go that I just, I don't really have like one single answer. No, I don't think everyone has the right to own a gun. You don't want too much government control, but sometimes it's necessary. That's a right that, sh we, that shouldn't be taken away. Everybody should be allowed to purchase a gun if they can prove that they are responsible enough to do it. If it did become illegal for most people to own guns, what are some good things that would come from that? There would probably be a lot less shootings. I bet like the crime rate would go down and the people that have died due to gun violence, it would definitely go down. People maybe wouldn't have such a, the big gun craze we do, maybe get a no new hobby. Can't kill anyone. I guess, like, no one can shoot anyone, no one will die. From guns? Yeah, from guns. <laughs> what are some negative things if we made it illegal to own a gun? The internet would get really annoying with everybody complaining. If, like, you know, someone is threatening you, you wouldn't really have a way to protect yourself if they have a gun and you don't. But I think the pros outweigh the negatives. Less shooting killings, but maybe different ways of killings, I don't know, like... You have no faith in humanity at all. No, I don't trust anyone. They're gonna like, all kill me. Guns aren't evil. I mean, people use guns to defend their homes, to defend their children, and guns have saved plenty of lives, but those statistics aren't, you know, you don't have statistics on the news of how many 
like people have been saved by guns. I don't really see a problem or a reason why anyone needs to have a gun besides protection, but they feel like they need a gun to have protection because other people have guns. So I think if you get rid of guns, you solve the problem. <laughs> we had this conversation in the barbershop. In the barbershop, you have all different types of dudes, you know. You got your good dudes and you got your hood dudes. And so the good dudes was like, man, you know, you're not supposed to be killing. And then the hood dudes was like, but hold on, if I don't have a gun and somebody else has have a gun and, and they're doing it illegal, then I think I should protect my family. Man, it's like, you know, I don't like guns or I don't like none of that stuff, but it's like, I had to defend my family. So it was like, I was kind of like stuck on the fence. If you're gonna own a gun, what are the things you think they should have to do? You should have to be in the military for at least, you know, five years. Like a sports physical kind of, like you have to go get checked out by the doctor to make sure that you're okay to play sports. Like you should have to go be checked and like, to make sure that you're mentally okay. Get more of a psychological evaluation. You should really test people's mental stability. You have to apply for a gun when you're really young. The government should watch you closely. And if you do anything bad or show any mental problems, then you will not get a gun. When national tragedies as horrible as this happens, what are we, like, as just human beings supposed to do? Or what can we do? Communicate. I think we just need to talk more. If you're religious or something, you know, pray for the families or whatever. If you're not, you know, just send good vibes. The best you can do, honestly, is mourn. I don't know any of the kids that got shot, but I still feel bad. We should be proactive in trying to donate to them, not just sit there, oh, it happened. I'm sorry. I'm glad I'm not there. Just, let's just watch it happen more. Post pictures about it and Facebook pages about it. It's so that you don't forget all the kids. You don't just go back to your regular lives of not caring. You try and let this make a difference in how you act. We need to really come together, and when these things happen, people do come together. But why should we, like, just come together when something like this happens and then just, you know, spread apart again, like, go off to your normal lives, you know? Why can't we just be like that all the time? If you could talk directly to the policymakers in Washington about gun control, what would you want them to do about the issue? <laughs> you really can't do anything, like, gonna happen bro and you gotta deal with that thing like <laughs> there's no like good answer like we just have to move to Canada let's go guys make gun laws a lot harder me being Republican I I would be just fine taking an aptitude test to make sure I don't go shoot up a bunch of schools common logic get rid of guns I think that's just yeah simple as that best thing that Washington and the Congress can do is cooperate with each other and actually come together and focus on the well-being of the nation instead of themselves. And I think that's my message to Washington. And hi, Obama. Do you actually think there'll be change in gun laws due to this or no? I think so. I'm pretty sure someone in Washington's gonna be like, okay, there's been enough. Maybe like a few little refinements, but I don't think nearly as much as we need. Hopefully, but Congress people are just mean people. Probably not. That Batman thing, it was a whole big deal when it happened but no one's talking about it now. We're this today, then tomorrow we're back to divided, worried about honey boo boo. It'll keep happening again and again, and eventually, maybe over time, like slavery, it took years to change that. Pretty much what it's gonna be. A civil war over guns. Everybody has to come together as a society. Everybody is split on every decision and we can never get anything done, but now we kinda need to just push all the trivial stuff aside and just work on this, try and make the world better together instead of just fight and push each other apart for our own personal happiness.